Hello everyone, Mr. Kaji here with the problem of the week and, and this week we have a problem about conversions. And conversions are important because later on when working with moles and molecules in stoichiometry, we want to be able to convert and use unit analysis to make sure we set the problems up right. So here's a problem that someone sent in. And how do you convert 25 miles per hour to meters per second? So this problem has two dimensions, distance and time. So we see that we have miles to meters, that's our first distance, and then we have our time, which is hours to seconds. And the really important thing here is that you know your conversions. And you have a list of conversions, or you've memorized them, but you've got to use conversions. And in reality, there are only a few conversions that are really approved, or SI approved, in our uh, work. So we're going to do our problems according to the approved and accepted exact values or definitions. All right, so let's go to the board and look at the plan for this problem. There are two dimensions, and the first dimension is going to be taking miles and changing it to meters. So first I'll change my miles to feet, and then I'll change my feet to inches, then we're going to change it to centimeters, and finally centimeters to meters. But also, after we do that, we need to change our hours to seconds. In actuality, we're going to change our hours to minutes and then our minutes to seconds. So that's the plan. Let's go ahead and start doing the uh, problem on the blackboard. Erase the blackboard. And first thing, miles to meters. So 25 miles per hour times 5,280 feet. And I'll cross out my miles. And then I'll have 12 inches in a foot. Cross out feet. And here's the magic. 2.54 centimeters in one inch. We have just changed the English system, the U.S. standard system, into centimeters, into the metric system. And so let's cross out our inches. And now we know that there are 100 centimeters in a meter. And I'm going to cross out my centimeters. Now, notice that what we did is we used a series of ratios to change from one unit to the next. And each one of those ratios are a truth. And they're the same whether they're upside down or uh, right side up. However you want to look at it, 2.54 centimeters per one inch or one inch per 2.54 centimeters. It's all the same. How you use them in your problem depends on what you want to cancel out. Remember, algebraically, the only way we can cancel things out is if they're on opposite sides of the fraction line. So we have them here on opposite sides of the fraction line. And that's how I know to put miles on the bottom. That's how I know how to put feet on the bottom, how to put inches on the bottom, and then eventually centimeters on the bottom. Because I want my miles, my feet, my inches, and my centimeters to cancel out. So now I've done miles to meters. Let's do the time hours to seconds. And so you'll see I've got one hour per 60 minutes. And we'll cross out our hours. Take a note of that. Go backwards if you have to. Rewind it. And then we have one minute for 60 seconds. Cross out our units. Oh, look at that. Now look here. Here we have our meters. And here we have our seconds. We have meters per second. And that was our goal. So it's time to plug and chug. So let's plug and chug. Get out your calculators. Put it into your calculator. 25 times 5,280, times 12, times 2.54, divided by parentheses, 60 times 60, close parentheses, hit enter, and you should get 11 meters per second if you use two sig figs. And remember, the only sig fig number was the 25. Conversions and definitions are not sig figs. All right. If you have any questions, shoot off an email. To me, Mr. Kazi at MrKazi.com. And also, don't forget to check out MrKazi.com or MrKazi'sWorld.com. PowerPoint videos and much more, much more are there available for you. And also, subscribe to my YouTube channel. That's right. I understand that it uh, increases your IQ. Happy odds, everybody.